Hey, 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 how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny video. Well, it is Friday, June 2nd. J uh, Zer is back in the town. Let's go ahead and see what he's got for us. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a real quick look at the feature comment of the day. And today's comment comes to us from Fang Legacy, and he says, Destiny is a great game. So good. Hey, I couldn't agree more, man, and even more excited for Destiny 2 right around the corner. And remember, guys, if you would like to be the feature comment of the day, all you gotta do, smack that like button, drop a comment in the section below, and I just might pick yours to be the very next featured comment of the day. So, Zer is back over here hiding as well you should be, you dirty little snake face brat. And let's see what he's brought for us this time, guys. And that's a hard, all right. So starting up top, we have our legacy engrams. You know how I feel about these guys by now. Just save your strange coin. This will give you a year one um, piece, you know, of armor, a helmet that's not going to be able to be infusible. You don't really want to mess your time around with these. Moving on for the Titans. We have the Crest of Alpha Lupi with an intellect and strength roll. This is going to be the one that uh, generates an extra orb with, with your supers, as well as be able to revive and revive other teammates faster. In Trials, this is halfway decent. Otherwise, I see no need for you to use this one, guys. Moving on to the Hunters. You've got the Mask of the Third Man with a really bad uh, percentage roll there on the uh, straight intellect. Arc Blade attacks use less super energy. You only get... Uh, believe even if you spam your swipes, you're only going to get, I think, two more. It's really not that big of a benefit. And let's be honest, the hunters have a wide array of exotics that you would probably want to use, you know, rather than getting this one. So up to you guys, but in my opinion, save your money unless you just haven't picked this up and you're a collectionist. That's the only way I can recommend picking up this particular mask of the third man. All right, and we have not forgot about you guys, you warlocks, with the skull of Dire Ahamakara with a straight intellect roll. Take reduced damage while using Nova Bomb and improved energy drain abilities. Whoa, okay, this is again a horrible helmet. I'm sorry, I have no other ways, you know, to describe this, as this is an absolute horrible lineup of weapons this time around. Um, yeah, take reduced damage while using your Nova Bomb and you get a better energy drain. It's just garbage. I hate to say it, really, any other Warlock exotic I think I might pick over this one. Okay, and to round out today's garbage sale, we have the Hard Light. Ah, uh, yeah, if you don't know about the Hard Light, if you can keep it under control, it's pretty fun to use, but it's really nothing that great. Uh, so yeah, accurized ballistic, CQB, aggressive ballistics, volatile light rounds fired from this weapon have no damage fall off, over penetrate targets, and ricochet off of hard surfaces. Quick draw, fitted sock, glass half full, and spray and play. Kind of a fun weapon, but definitely on the lower tier as far as your exotics go. For the bundles, we have got the Monte Carlo and the Super Spy ornament. Uh, I think he just had this combination within the last one or two weeks. Anyway, and we also have the Red Death and the Steel Witch. So both of these are going to run you 30 Strange Coin and 25 Silver Dust if you want to get the combos. For the Curios, we have the Plasma Drive, the Emerald Coil, the 3 and 10 pack of your Heavy Ammo Synthesis, your three of coins and your glass needles to re-roll any of those exotic armor pieces you might get your hands on. And of course, if you need more, we have motes of light and exotic shards as well. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you found it helpful and useful. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smack that like button and drop a comment in the section below. And also share this video with your friends if you think that they could use this info as well. Like to stay the hell away from Zur this week, because he really ain't got nothing for you guys. 
Uh, I do apologize this past week. I have not uploaded as much as I'd want to. Had a lot of crazy stuff going on, even had something going on with my computer for a while. But everything seems to be back in order, so hopefully we got more videos coming for you in the very near future. So in the comment section below, I want to know, can you guys remember a worse week for Zer? Because I honestly can't. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also, since he completely whiffed on us this time around, what do you want to see him bring next week? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. As always, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next one.